Ken Surfs here, and we're here for another unboxing video. And a look at one of the, uh, I would say, rarer of the uh, SKX watch series the SKX 011J1. Now, there was basically four in the series. We have the, uh, the 007, which is uh, the black face with the black dial. This is the uh, K version, I think it's K2. It has the Jubilee band. Or maybe it's the K1 has the Jubilee band. But anyway, it's the K version. This uh, is the 009, and that is a blue face. I don't know if you can tell, sometimes it looks black, with the Pepsi bezel. There is a yellow face version. Which is the SKX A35. And, uh, oh. I'm probably going to be looking at that. Now, I just bought this watch off eBay, so it did not come in this box. It came loose with bubble wrap with all of the items you're going to see, but uh, in fact, it came with three additional bands. The quick, the quick uh, release black rubber band. I don't see a name on it. We have a NATO strap and another NATO strap. And I had anticipated this watch arriving, so I have the quick release orange band. And I'm a very big fan of the NATO strap. I'm probably gonna put this watch on it. But let's open this up and take a look at it. And again, this is not the box. I had an extra box I had purchased. You can buy these boxes. Uh, they're great if you wanna keep everything together. This is the J1, SKX 011 J1, made in Japan. You can see down, well, I don't know if you can see, but down at the bottom there, it actually says made in Japan. It's a 21 joule automatic watch. It's got the day and the date. It's got the orange face and the orange uh, chapter ring. It's kind of cool because the bezel insert is actually black with gold. I don't know if you can see that. Now, there are clones out there. There are companies that actually buy these faces and they put the face on a 007 or a 009 and you can actually get the gold insert and they try to pass it off as the SKX 011J1. What's hard to pass off? Got the ice maker crunching over there. What's hard to pass off is the back, where right here, Japan. I guess they could get a uh, Japanese case back for it, the screw down case back, but the case backs on the SKSs, they don't say where they're made. I don't know if you can see that. So if you're looking for a true original, definitely make sure that uh, it says Japan on the case back. I've seen a lot of these for sale from the Philippines and it does not say Japan. It says it here on the face, but you don't know if you're getting a clone or not. So I, I really, I do not like the uh, rubber diver strap on this. And although original, as I said, I'm going to be putting, I'll probably put this one on uh, with a little help from this. Uh, when I bought it from eBay, I'm waiting for some info from the uh, gentleman. I don't know if he was the original owner, but uh, like I said, I got the, uh, the manual. I got uh, some extra, extra straps. And I got the watch, and it is in very nice condition. It's the 21 Jewel, made in Japan. It's got very high luminous. It's got a big, uh, they, they coat these uh, markers, and they coat the, uh, the hands with the uh, very high lume 
uh, you, in the dark, you can see it very well. Well, I'll show you. And if you're hearing the noise, it's that young man right there. He likes uh, making a lot of noise when I'm doing my videos, whether they're pinball or watches or shaving videos. The, uh, it's, the bezel is at uh, 120 click, unidirectional. This one's very smooth. I actually replaced a band on uh, my boss's watch uh, yesterday. He has a, a 6000 series original turtle that he bought in the mid 70s and it did not have the uh, I've got an extra here. Did not have the this is the one direction I guess the spring. It only allows it to turn one direction and the those lips stop it right there. They stop it from going. His has the ball and the spring, so you can kind of go both ways. And man, it was like, <laughs> you know, I mean, I was afraid that that was going to fall off. I'd love to buy it off him, but uh, I do like these one directional ones. Very, I don't know if you can hear that. Very nice, smooth. Let's see if she actually lines up. like it does. Got the Hardlex crystal on it. The S or 7S26 automatic. This does not hack. This one you can pull it out. It, 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 it's self-winding. You have to wind it with the old Seiko shuffle. You cannot manually wind it. You can set your day and date. And on this watch, it's in English and Arabic, the day. And I'm told, and I could be wrong, just from what I heard, that uh, the Made in Japan watches, they sell in Asia and the Middle East. So you get uh, Arabic and English for the day. On the K versions, they're, they're from Malaysia, Singapore, Malaysia, and they have it in, I believe, Spanish and English. But uh, I didn't know that. I've been looking on a lot of YouTube videos on this watch, but it's a really nice watch. I'm gonna pause for a second and I'm gonna take this band off. Went surprisingly easier than I thought. Often, otherwise I would have filmed it. These are the heavy duty uh, 22 millimeter spring. There we go. We'll put these back in. See if I can do this on camera. If not, I'll pause it again. Ah, I'll do it off. Sometimes they don't. So we have that on there. Gonna need them on if we're gonna be putting on this new uh, NATO strap. And actually, I got this from uh, what's the company? I believe it's called NATO Straps. They have a lot of cheap imitations. They say, oh look, they gave me a, they gave me some. Rings. They are very thin compared to that, see? These uh, Seiko ones are very thick. I'm probably going to get this backwards. We'll see. Pretty hard doing these things <laughs> behind the camera. It's worse in front of the camera, but fortunately it's just my hands. There we go. Definitely looks a little nicer than this. All right, put it on. All right, you get a little bit of a, a loose, uh, I have a small wrist, so we get a little bit of extra. We tuck that down in there. I wasn't a big fan of these NATO straps until I saw the Spectre James Bond movie and Daniel Craig was wearing the Omega and it had the NATO strap.
fact, uh, I've got a very similar one that I use on my uh, di or my 007 sometimes. <laughs> yeah, 007. But uh, I do use the uh, the NATO straps. Uh, they are very comfortable. They do make it look a little nicer. On and off, quick change, no problem. Just if you're going to buy one, try to get a better quality. This one seems very thin compared to this one, but uh, hey, to each his own. So there we go. The SKX011J1. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And until next time, it's Ken Surf saying have a great night.